Greetings from Kigali, Rwanda, where we are hosting the African Green Revolution Forum 2018. The theme is Lead, Measure, Grow. I'm excited today because we have with us here a very important guest who's come all the way from Des Moines in the United States of America, Ambassador Kenneth Queen. Welcome. Well, thank you. Ambassador Queen, you've come all the way from Iowa. What are you doing in Des Moines? What happens there? Well, uh, Des Moines is the home of the World Food Prize, created by Norman Borlaug with the hope that it would come to be seen as the Nobel Prize for food and agriculture. And every October, we give a quarter million dollar prize for an individual or individuals who have made a breakthrough achievement in increasing the quality, quantity, or availability of food in the world and reduced hunger. To our viewers, as you are aware, our own Kofi Annan just passed away. And in memory of his legacy, as we celebrate this 2018 African Green Revolution Forum, we have champions who have walked the path with him. And we have you, Ambassador Queen, who has made a special tribute to his legacy. In a nutshell, how do you describe the man? I work directly with Kofi Annan on what was perhaps the most perfect peacekeeping mission ever put together by the United Nations, and he did it about another genocide in Cambodia. And we delivered the peacekeepers and delivered a free and fair election to the five million Cambodians who had survived the worst genocide of the second half of the 20th century. Two million people had died. And it was Kofi Annan, the peacekeepers, the UN, that put that structure in place. He doesn't get credit for that enough, and that's why I want to talk about it. But I think, you know, when he passed away, I issued a statement. And I said, to me, I think ultimately his most enduring legacy will be creating the Millennium Development Goals, a structure to bring the whole world to focus on these problems. But after being uh, here at AGRA for the 2018 forum, I might have to say, well, his work in, in forming and guiding AGRA may end up being just as significant as what he did at the UN. You've been around in our villages in Africa. What do you see and where, where, where are the bright sparks of the Green Revolution that you've seen? Well, you know, the, the, the bright spots that I see are, and, they, and they're reflected in the laureates that, that the World Food Prize has honored. Bright spot is the African scientists who are producing the breakthroughs to enhance food. Monty Jones, who developed Nurica, the now minister in Sierra Leone. Maria Andrade and Rob, uh, from Cape Verde, who worked in Mozambique. Robert Mwanga from Uganda, who did the science about how do you make the orange flesh sweet potato have enough vitamin A to prevent blindness. And Borlaug always said his goal was inspire the next generation. The danger is we start too late about inspiring them. You have to inspire young people when they're in secondary school, in high school as we refer to it, or even lower. You have to get them thinking about it. So we have, the World Food Prize has a youth program. And we reach out into schools. So all children in the world are divided into two types. There are those who have worked on farms and understand agriculture and will be interested in being part of it. And the great bulk of the others who We've don't. Yes, farm. right. So, so these uh, young people who work on farms, they get it but you have to give them the opportunities. For those who have no connection to agriculture in the cities and that, we never mention the word agriculture. It scares them. They think agriculture is farming, it's hard work, it's bending over, and that's why we're in the city to avoid it. But what we do is we talk about all the other issues. We talk about the environment, we talk about water, we talk about gender equity, we talk All about biotechnology. We talk about eradicating yeah. hunger. And these students get captivated and they want to be part of it. They want to change the world. Yeah. 
right? And in all of our programs, two thirds are always young women. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. And and young women are going to lead the uh, agricultural revolution throughout the world. I think that's a major lesson for us at the yes. African Green Revolution Forum, that capture them whilst they're young and bring them to the forum. Thank you very much. We'll make sure that the organizers and the partners of the AGRF get this message loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. Finally, the tagline for this conference, the theme is lead, measure, grow, but the tagline is how will you lead? That's my question to you. Over to the audience, how will you lead? It takes everybody being part of this, whether you are leading in your school, whether you're leading in your community, in your religious uh, congregation, whether in your government, encouraging, asking the tough questions of politicians, I'm going to keep making sure that everyone knows of the legacy of Norman Borlaug and that confronting hunger can bring people together across even the broadest differences, be they political, ethnic, religious, diplomatic. You know, in 2012, we had a World Food Prize laureate who was an Israeli irrigation pioneer. He had been nominated by three Muslim scientists from Arab and Muslim countries. And the Secretary General of the United Nations came to Iowa to join in presenting our prize to him. And in the audience, there was an Israeli diplomat, a Muslim princess, Princess uh, Haya uh, bint al Hussein, the daughter of King Hussein, an Arab sheikh, and an assortment of other uh, Buddhists, Hindus, Christians, everybody. And they were all standing and cheering for the same person, the same achievement. So it is the case that agriculture and hunger are the basis to bring people together. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ambassador Kenneth Queen from the World Food Prize in Des Moines, Iowa, sending the parting shots. What he will do is unite the world by telling the whole world across ethnicity that food is for all of us. Thank you.